Uh, today I'm going to show you how to create a digital collage in Google Draw, combining uh, different photographic elements um, and just how to put it together in Draw. So I will share my screen. So the things that you will need for this are Google Draw. Um, you're going to need a website called remove.bg, which means that you may need to reach out to your um, admin or IT about getting this unblocked for your purposes. Um, and you're going to need a Google search. Um, so I am doing collages of people's. So um, I'm looking up a picture of Beyonce. Look up whoever you want. Um, make sure you're on images. And then we're going to be using our tools today. This is going to be super useful. Um, so you're going to want to go to size. I'm still annotate. You're going to go to size and you're going to go for large. And this is just to ensure that whatever image you use is not going to be all grainy. Um, and then when you're choosing a photo, um, like I would not choose this photo because her head is cut off um, and she's very cropped in. Same issue here. See how her shoulders are cropped off. So those are not ideal pictures to use. Let's clear those off. And let's scroll and find a better picture. I'm kind of loving this one, maybe this one. <laughs> yep, this is a pretty epic. Okay. So um, I'm using a right click. Um, I use also control click to right click. Um, I think on Chromebooks, it's alt click. Open the link in a new tab. Uh, you gotta understand that this is essentially a different image that has been compressed for preview. And did I press open image in new tab? I press open link. So make sure you open um, image and not link. Open image in new tab. All right, and then another um, on Chromebooks, it's alt click on a Mac, it's um, control click. And don't press copy image, you're gonna copy image address. Again, copy image address. Then we can pop over to remove background. And, um, and this is especially good because the Chromebooks can't save images. But if you look closely, it says you can use an URL. So that, that's what we did. So here's the URL, control V to paste it, press OK. And it removes the background, which is like amazing. It's like so cool. So then I'm, I'm doing another right click or uh, Mac control click, Chromebooks alt click, um, copy image, and then control V or on the Mac it's command V and paste it in there. Bam, we have our image. Uh, since um, I thought I was going to end up with like a portrait style, but since I did end up with a horizontal style, I'm just going to go ahead and um, do that. Now, I mean, like there's, it does a pretty good job. I think you can see it left a little bit of piece there, but overall pretty decent. So this is going to be really important because if you're doing this with students, they are going to want to like pick out images of, of whoever. Um, and there's probably not going to be, you know, pictures that already exist with transparent backgrounds. So again, that website is remove.bg. Um, and there we have our basic image. So I'm gonna need some kind of background now. Again, this is totally up to kiddos. Um, I mean, I also like, if you're like doing surrealism, um, uh, then maybe then you do something like just contrasting with it. Like, I don't know what I want. I did not like think through this image to be like perfectly honest. Um, I love to combine it. Ooh, I'm gonna like add vector because I think it'd be fun to like combine like a photorealistic photo of Beyonce with like some different images. This is to Kitty. Um, maybe a fantasy background because Beyonce is a queen. I'm kind of loving these bubbles. I don't know. Like it, play around with it. I probably should have like pre-selected my images here. So you're not just like listening to me ramble on. Oh my gosh. Um, if your image is too small, it, again, it can be very helpful to go to tools and then go to size large, just to ensure that you're using a higher quality image. Um, and then of course it doesn't have to be like realistic. You can use um, just like fantasy type things. I'm like, okay, I'll, I'll dig this. Open image, a new tab. What's up, William? Uh, Copy image hi. and control V paste. Come back, hugs. Oh, I'm getting hugs. The kids are home. Mm. 
resize that. I hold shift while I'm resizing. Um, and I don't know, you know, that you look majestic in this moonlit area. Um, I, I like to go ahead and crop it down just so I know where the edge of my um, page is and just line it up like that, just so that I'm like it's seeing my artwork better. This is fantastical. Alrighty, so now let's think about like layering some surrealist um, type elements. So I'm gonna include some bubbles. Now, if I were to just copy and paste one of these images, they would have backgrounds. So where I'm gonna go to tools now, and this time for, I'm gonna go to color and you can actually select transparent, meaning that you'll find images that um, have a transparent background. And you'll, the transparent background will be represented by white and gray. This is fun. The really big image too. Ooh, this one's super nice because it already is transparent in the middle. Open image, a new tab. Copy image, paste. You kids are gonna like rock the copy and paste tools by the end of this. So this was like a really uh, good option because it's like literally already um, partially see-through, which is nice. Um, I'm not a big fan of like these two bubbles stacked on top. So sometimes I will choose to just like um, crop my images and maybe I'll incorporate like a different bubbles, which I think I want to do anyway. So I can kind of walk you through how to make it appear transparent to where you can see the background. Give me just a second. Is that the one I used before? Open image, a new tab, copy image. Also tell your kids to like close out of these tabs so that they don't have like 20 tabs open. Control V. So this, in this example, these bubbles are not see-through. So in that case, I'm just going to format options and I'm going to adjustments and I'm gonna just probably about like 50%. And then um, say I want, to, uh, there, like I've seen a lot of collages with like images inside the bubbles. Um, you can use the insert image, search the web function in Google Draw. I just find it to be pretty limited. Um, just add the word transparent. So I know I've done smaller things like butterfly and added the word transparent. And I've been able to find images that do have transparent backgrounds. Which, um, so that's nice. Um, but definitely just be willing to go over to Google search just because you have more control. Resize that. So right now it looks like it's on top of this bubble, but I will show you how to make it look like it is inside the bubble. Okay, so this bubble is already partially transparent. So I'm gonna duplicate it by going to Control D or Edit, Duplicate. Now, whenever you duplicate, it moves it, but it's just left twice, left, left, and up, up. And now um, it's still see-through to Beyonce, but now it looks like the butterfly is inside of the bubble, which is cool. Fun stuff. I actually feel like this is a little bit, um, like should be a little bit more see-through. So I'm gonna change it up. And then also I'm going to recolor it to match my more blue bubbles. So those are some like um, tricks to just to kind of keep things very thematic. All right, Beyonce is looking amazing. Um, other things that are like super fun to include in, um, you know, uh, into a photo collage are like lens flares. So. I'm searching for lens fair. And then of course I'm going to tools, color, transparent, because I want just the lens flare without all the other stuff. Look at this, like, I like this one. It kind of mimics her arm shape. Is that big enough? Hold on, give me a second. Open image, a new tab. There we go. Copy image, paste. And so, and of course, like maybe I'm gonna put that like on her, uh, microphone. I don't know. That seems fun. Or like maybe on her eyes. I don't know. And then, I mean, you just basically keep adding things until you're happy. Um, I would definitely like, if I was teaching this, I would definitely just have like, like recommendations of like, Hey, you're stuck for an idea. Here are my ideas, lens flares, textures, flower background. Like these can be some like really fun elements to incorporate. Um, just making sure that they have that um, white and gray checkered background. Cause sometimes even when you select transparent, they aren't actually transparent. I can do a border. This one looks fun. 
but it's not actually transparent. So watch for that. Let's how's this one. I like it. Open image and new tab. And copy, Oops, not image address, copy image. Um, that's, I'm going to, um, oh, and arranging. This is going to be a good one. So uh, try to teach your kids not to use this unless they're sending something to the very back. Instead, uh, use um, for Chromebooks, it's control and the down arrow. And on the Macs, it's command and down arrow. But I can just press this until it like goes down. Um, and that'll just incorporate the image a little bit more. Um, and then I do find myself just like anything I add, I usually do make it like slightly transparent just so it blends color wise. And I definitely absolutely love the recolor feature, especially if I'm going for like a certain kind of vibe, um, like so. But all these things are like super fun to play around with. It's like very, I don't know what's, I don't, I'm not super happy with this to be perfectly honest. But we're just rolling with it and making it fast. Let's try it up there. Actually, let me, um, oh, here, let's do another uh, option here. I wanna, don't want it in the bottom left, I want it in the bottom, I mean the top left. So I'm gonna flip it like that and see how I like it up there. Yeah, that's better. That's fun. And then um, I usually like to add some kind of texture on top to kind of tie it together. So same trick, texture, or sometimes it's called noise, and then tools, color, transparent. Um, and there's some fun ones. Um, ooh, does this have like a, is it transparent? That would be nice. It is super cool. Open and copy image. And uh, save your texture for last because once you like cover up all your stuff, it, it just can't work with it anymore. Oh, look at that, like right on her face. Um, that texture is like a little bit intense. So I would probably come over here and just, again, take that transparency up a little bit so that it's not like so insanely intense. And then think about like placement, like the fact that um, it's like right on her face is super weird. Let me just flip that and see if I like that better. That's like one of my tricks. Like, let me flip it and see if I like it better. Okay. And not my greatest work, but shows you all the main tools. Um, let's talk about like incorporating shapes and colors because I think like that is also a fun thing to do. It can like really bring emphasis to certain things. Um, so I'm going to add the circle and I'm going to use my um, control down or command, uh, command down on max. I'm gonna move that down and put it behind Beyonce to bring a little attention to her. I usually get rid of the border colors and then play around with those colors. Maybe some purple, more of that blue. She kind of digging this orange vibe just cause I'm bringing that attention on her. Yeah, so definitely um, encourage your kiddos to, um, you know, the make all their changes um, before they add that final texture. I would just, um, sometimes I'm just like seeing things like, oh, I actually want to move that down and put my texture back. There we go. That's pretty cool. Um, note that black things you can't recolor, at least not very well. Like this is like letting me add like a very a super, super subtle difference. It's not a lot. That's better actually than, uh, but you can play around with things like brightness because if you take it bright enough, it'll be like white. So that's a lot better actually. I'm much happier with this. Uh, let's go to print preview real quick just so you can kind of see it. Print preview, yep, print setting and preview just to kind of see it without everything going off the side of the page. And there we go, there's my girl Beyonce um, in a very cool photo collage. Um, this is fun for kiddos because they get to like incorporate someone they enjoy. Um, although they might need some like general rules and guidance on like where to place images and like considerations for making it visually appealing. Um, but that is 
the basics of just how to create one of those photo collages in Google Draw, because a lot of times the programs are blocked. Um, if you can't get remove.bg unblocked, there is a limited amount of like portraits or people um, that you can find with transparent backgrounds. It's pretty much a crapshoot though, or like they gotta be like really famous. So like, I don't know, I think like I found Frida, you can probably find famous people that have a transparent background, but otherwise you're gonna need some way to get rid of that background. So like, there we go, Mr. Obama with a transparent background. Like they do exist, these images do exist. So you can like make it work, especially if you like pre-select some images and maybe have them in the Google Draw for them to use. Um, like I could very easily just like copy and paste some options and just place them off to the side. But if you really want them to have as much choice as possible, then remove.bg is, I love it. It's awesome sauce, All right? And that is my very quick and dirty tutorial on how to create digital clauses in Google Draw.